Well, this is the fifth meeting of Limerick and Dundalk this season. Dundalk have won all four previous encounters. Here's Benson. Bright start to this game from Dundalk. Michael Duffy, and Duffy slips it in for Ronan Murray, and Murray squares it, and it's turned in by Patrick Huben. Less than five minutes on the clock, and Dundalk go in front, Huben on target. Here's Dan Cleary, decides to go long, sends it over the top, inviting the run of Duffy, and Duffy cuts inside away from Murphy, and clips it towards the back post, it's Huben! Gnarly wide, very close to adding a second. Ronan Murray, away from Kian Coleman. Put a break here in favour of Dundalk and the electrifying Duffy. Massey and Duffy. Two players combining very well down Dundalk's left hand side. And Duffy hangs it up. Oh, it's in! Huben grabs his second. His 27th of the season. Rising high, downward header, and Holland couldn't give it out. 2-0 to Dundalk. Cleary powering forward. Dane Massey. Again, Limerick caught out by the ball over the top. This is Ronan Murray. Checks on to his right. And Holland, well positioned to parry the ball behind for a corner. One in the air by Massey. Here's Coleman. Darren Murphy. Again, pressure being exerted by Dundalk for from Massey. Well, that's a really clever ball from Huben. Murphy goes to ground. Massey's in on goal. And Mountney taps it in. How simple was that? Lovely football from Dundalk. Mountney scores. 3 0. Patrick McElhaney. McElhaney angles it out to Dundalk's left hand side. That's a brilliant take from Duffy, and he's away from Darren Murphy in on goal. And Holland has to produce the save. Dundalk absolutely rampant. Kim Coleman back to Darren Murphy. Give and go, but they've coughed up possession. Duffy steps away from one challenge. Murphy trying to get back. Goal side, the pullback for Ronan Murray. Saved by the left leg of Tommy Holland. Duffy, blistering pace once again from Duffy. Lots of blue jerseys drawn towards the ball. Here's Huben. Could be a time to pick out a colleague. He picks out Ronan Murray and he curls it just over the top. The visiting Dundalk fans enjoying this. Dundalk with a three goal cushion. Here's Barry Maguire. Doesn't seem too much of Limerick as an attacking force. This is Carlos Sullivan, who did a fine game in the league encounter last week. Let's fly. That's straight at Gary Rogers. That's better from Tommy Barrett's side. Shane Tracy. The skipper Shane Duggan. And can Limerick mount something here? Keen Coleman getting involved. Gets the return. Coleman tries to get in his cross, but it's blocked behind for a corner kick. Corner is hung up invitingly. Coleman! It won't count. Referee has sounded his whistle. A foul on Gary Rogers. Celebrations cut short. Again, smartly won back by Dundalk. Mountney leaves it for Gartland. Breaks here for Ronan Murray. Murray gets in his shot. And Tommy Holland is down to save. Coleman. Brian Garton steps in, gets the return pass of John Mountney. It's like a parting of the seas here. It's opening up for Dundalk, and Georgie Kelly scores. Dundalk get their fourth of the night. Great work from Brian Gartland, and that's a really stylish finish from Georgie Kelly. Well, Limerick plugging away right to the end. And the header from Coleman Kennedy. And Gary Rogers taking no chances, just nudges it behind. The corner is driven in. Barry Maguire! Smashing save from Gary Rogers. Determined to keep a clean sheet. 
Rogers bowls it out to Sean Gannon, making his 200th Dundalk appearance tonight. Job well done by Dundalk. Limerick firmly put to the sword. Dundalk three up by half time, two from the goal machine that is Patrick Hooven. John Mountney with the third. Georgie Kelly with the fourth. Dundalk into the semis for the fourth year in a row. Look, we kept plugging till the end and we created a few chances. You know, I, I think it was a, a last seen on the video, but I thought we, you know, it was, it was a soft decision from the referee not to give the goal. And I felt we, we tested him, he pulled off Gary, pulled off some excellent saves uh, in the second half as well. But, you know, we're up against a, a quality team. Uh, you know, they deserve their win or they were much better on a Sunday night. I thought the players were absolutely excellent tonight. You know, it was a really good performance and uh, some terrific football and some great moving for the goals. And uh, it's a good night's work for us, you know. I, I, felt, uh, I felt we were very good.